In this lecture, we're looking at how you can import some external JavaScript code in your QML file and use it directly. Let's go to Qt Creator and play with us. Okay, here we are in Qt Creator. We are going to create a new project. We're going to call it JavaScript Import Demo. Hit Next. Choose your Qt version. Choose your desktop kit here and finish. What we're going to do is to change the title here. We are going to put a rectangle inside. Width is going to be 300. Height is going to be 100. It's going to be blue. And it's going to be centered in the parent. Inside, we are going to have a text element. The text is going to say, click me. It's going to be in the center as well. And the parent of the text is this rectangle here. So the text is going to be in the middle of this rectangle here. We also want to put a mouse area that is going to fill this rectangle. I should put this inside the rectangle. It's going to fill the rectangle. And when it's clicked, we want to do something. For now, we can console log. Hello there. If you run the application, there's nothing special. You're going to see a rectangle in the middle. It's going to have some text inside. And when you click, it's going to say hello there in the console. The color is really not good. So I think I should change this to green. Let's see how it looks. All yellow green. We've used this before. Yellow green looks like this. I think it's going to be better. Okay, this is better. If you click, it says hello there. So what we want to do is to add a new JavaScript file and call a method inside there and let it say hello there. We don't want to say hello there directly. We want this to come from a piece of code that is stored in an external JavaScript file. That's our goal. We want to come to the QML.QRC file here and add a new file. So we're going to click add new cute JS file and call it utilities one, because it's going to contain some things that we'd want to use. And you're going to see that under the main QML file, we have a new JavaScript file. Its extension is JS. We're going to get rid of the content and I put in our function. It's going to be called greeting. And inside, it is going to say the same thing we had in the onClicked handler. Okay, just like this, we have a function in the external JavaScript file. We are going to save it, come back to the QML file, and now we need a way to import our JavaScript code. The way you do that, we're going to say import utilities one.js and you're going to say as, and you specify a name that you're going to use to call methods from this file. We call this utilities one, starting with capital. And down here, we can say utilities one greeting. You see that the method is even recognized in the autocomplete feature of Qt Creator. If we run the application, Click here, you see that it says hello there, but the message here is coming from an external JavaScript file. Let's prove it by adding something here. Save this, run again. And you see that it says hello there from external JavaScript file. And it really is this easy to call methods from an external JavaScript file. 
You just add it to your resources, just like you add QML files. You put your methods in there. When you import it in QML, take note of this syntax here. You specify your file in quotes and you specify a name you're going to use to call your methods and then you call it and everything is going to be fine. And this is really all I had to say in this lecture in showing you how you can call JavaScript from an external file in your QML file. In the next lecture, we're going to see ways you can import your JavaScript indirectly. I'll see you in the next lecture.